Good morning students. How are you? Hope you had a good sleep and now fresh to continue your classes. Today students today is the third day of our chapter 2. And these days we have been seeing the cultural heritage of India that uh, traditional handicraft and the fine arts so far we have seen that how india is the best very good in the clay work in art of weaving where we saw about the hand weaving we saw the bandhani patola and the famous things of gujarat of our india then we went to see about the art of embroidery from the art of embroidery a study we saw about the leather industry and when we were studying about the leather industry i told you that there are some names which you have to remember just as the things that you use of leather your wallet your uh, shoes your mojadi and many other things that if you go to see we use in a daily life or uh, instruments like uh, drum dholak tabla so after studying about the leather industry now we are going to move to diamond that is the bead work and animal work students we are on page 10 so open your book at page 10 and pay attention be with me diamond bead and animal work india has 7517 km long coastline surrounding all three directions east west and south so diamonds and beads are available in plenty students India has how many kilometer long coastline? Seven thousand five hundred and seventeen kilometer. Underline that, student. Now, what is the coastline surrounding three directions? And directions are given over here: east, west, and south. So, students, you remember last year when you learned the map for the first time, we started explaining you about the seas or the ocean that we are a country surrounded by. and that is arabian ocean indian ocean bay of bengal so students that is the coast line and why we are famous why the beads and diamonds are plenty because of the sea coast because of the coast line so make a bracket to east west and south from there so diamonds and beads are available in plenty there has been a wide use of gems and diamonds since ancient times from the ancient time onwards from the ancient time onwards we have been using the diamonds okay and the gems the precious stones since ancient time trade of diamond and beads was carried out through sea routes with different countries across the sea students make a bracket here since ancient time trade of diamond and beads was carried out through sea routes students you know last year the first chapter itself we saw who was the person who found out the sea route and uh, who came first to india that time the attraction was something different but today through sea routes they have been carrying out the trade and what trade students of diamond and beads underlined that across the sea to different countries across the sea from the sea route they have been going to the different countries diamond studded ornaments have been in a great demand in foreign countries since long students the craze for the, the craze for diamond is not only in our country but in the foreign countries too people are very much fond of diamond very specially the women the ladies they like to have their ornaments where the diamond has been studded where the precious stone has been fixed so 
Diamond studded ornaments have been in a great demand in foreign countries since long. Underline the diamond studded the ornaments. The world famous diamonds like Kohinoor and Great Mughal were found from India only. Make a bracket. The world famous diamonds like Kohinoor and Great Mughal. Underline Kohinoor and Great Mughal. Where were they found from? From our country, from India only. As Indians are fond of diamond and beaded ornaments, variety is found in great deal. Students, now of course, as Indians are fond of diamond and beaded ornaments, as it is that uh, diamonds are diamonds and the beads are available in plenty in our country because of the coastline. And so students, our people also are fond of diamonds and the beaded ornaments. And therefore, we are very good in creativity. There is a variety, variety is found in great deal. Earlier, rich and royal people used to wear diamond, diamond jewelry apart from gold ornaments. Only earlier time, only the rich people could wear or the people who were the kingly, the royal people could wear diamond jewelry. Of course, they also used to wear the gold ornaments. But today, even you people, you will see, even the ordinary people, may have along with the gold ornaments at least one set of diamond work. Now, diamonds, rubies, beads, emerald and topaz were used to adorn and beautify the thrones and crowns and jewelry like bracelet and garland etc. Students, remember the names of these precious stones given over here. Diamonds, Rubies, rubies is that the red stone, beads, of course you know, emerald which is greenish and topaz, topaz is the yellowish, were used to adorn and beautify the thrones and crowns and jewelry like bracelet and garland etc of kings. When the kings wore the ornaments, you would see that these were the precious stones were mentioned over there, they were always there. Bead work is also found prominent in Gujarat. Students, we very well know in our Gujarat, there are also, we are also famous in the bead work. And the beautiful bead torrents, Pachi, pots, bari, that is the door, door grill frames, chakada, chakada is the wall piece, traditional wall piece. Decorative coconut used at the time of ceremonies, that is Lagnana Nariel. You could be asked the question, how is the Lagnana Nariel decorated? Okay, so the decorative coconut used at the time of ceremonies, Lagnana Nariel. Indoni, Modia, a net which covers the mouth of, bull, of a bullock horns. Hand fans, animal back cover, that is Zul etc. are knitted in a unique artistic way. Students, you will have to remember these names. Huh? Like uh, if you are asking the one mark or MCQs, uh, the chagra means dash. They may ask a uh, decorative coconut uh, or a traditional wall piece or the door grill that is the frames. So you should know what is chagada, uh, chakada means. And chakada means Chakra means a traditional wall piece. These are unique artistic way. India has been a leading country in jewelry since time immemorial. India is the only country in the world where, where expertise can be seen in animal work apart from the gold and silver work. So students, India is the only country where you find the expertise, the people who are very much expert and they are seen in expert in what? In the animal work, apart from the gold and silver work. Animal work means, okay, now we will have to underline this. Animal work means the artistic skill of inlaying bright colors like red, green and blue in the gold, silver ornaments like rings, bangles, earrings, keychain, chain, etc. Experts of animal work are seen especially 
in Jaipur, Delhi, Lucknow, Varanasi and Hyderabad. Okay, so students, what is it animal work? If you are asked to write about one in one mark about the animal work, what will you write? Animal work means the artistic skill of inlaying the bright color by bright colors like red, green, blue in the gold, silver on ornaments like ring, bangles, earrings, keychain, chain, etc. And students, where are these people found? They are found in Jaipur, Delhi, Lucknow, Varanasi and Hyderabad. So, suppose you as a question, name four or five places where we can find the experts of animal work. So students, which places will you write? Jaipur, Delhi, Lucknow, Varanasi and Hyderabad. Let's move to jari work. What is this jari work? Jari work is seen in India since ancient time. Golden and silver trades are woven with clothes and embroidery is done with gold and silver trades to decorate the clothes. So students, what is this jari work? Is it, is it like a embroidery work? No, slightly different than the embroidery. And what is it? Golden and silver trades are woven with clothes. Uh, with clothes and embroidery is done with gold and silver trades to decorate the clothes. Now, which place is famous? Surat is a prominent place for jari work. Surat is very famous and important place for jari work. Knitting and embroidery of jardoshi work have a unique beauty. Underline that knitting and embroidery of jardoshi work has unique beauty. Even artisans of Surat could make beautiful dresses like sari, paneta, gharchola, etc. bordered with sari if needed. Students, now what is that paneta and all? A typical Gujarati wedding outfit for brides. Both in Hindu and Jain, Jain brides wear a panetar or ghar chola. You will know it better than me because it is your tradition. It is your tradition. And very specially the students, the people who are uh, Jain, you will know it better. So students, zari work is slightly different than embroidery work. So students, that is all about zari work. Now let's come to the metal work. On the next page, engraving. Engraving of the metal work. Now, metal work is also a very old form of an art of India. Metal age began and developed after Stone Age. So students, we know that Stone Age, the earlier people, early men used to use the weapons made of stone. And so after the Stone Age only, the metal age began. The artisans of Lothal made different weapons like sickle, drill, that is a curved saw, and needle, etc. with copper and bronze. Which metal did they use students? Copper and bronze. Moreover, they prepared utensils, idols and pots. Arms and ammunition for wars were made up of metal. Arms and ammunition which were used for the war Okay, students they were also made of metal. Earlier they were made of stone. But after stone age came the metal age. And that's how they were made of metal. Gold and silver were used for making ornaments. Copper, brass and bronze were used to make utensils and idols. Whereas iron was used to make instruments and weapons. Okay, now students in the metal work. Which place made the different weapons like sickles and all? Sickles, drill, lothal. Lothal also we are going to study about the lothal later on. Okay? And I want you to make students here lothal. And then let make a bracket the artisans from there till, till you will make copper and bronze. Till copper and bronze you will make a bracket. Also, the first bracket you will open in this paragraph 
in this paragraph to that metal work is also a very old form of an art of india and metal work comes after which students it comes after stone age after stone age comes metal work so this is about metal work from metal work in the metal work we saw that gold and silver were used for making ornaments okay ornaments copper brass and bronze were used to make utensils and idols whereas iron was used to make instruments and weapons students if you go to the some excavate in some museums and all you will see there are different statues they are made of statues or the idols made of copper or bronze brass or bronze but the instruments were made instruments and weapons were made of iron let's go to the wooden art now what is this wooden art wooden art man trees and forest are closely associated man forest and trees are closely associated with each other initially wood was used as a firewood later on for making weapons construction of building and other construction work students we know that just as we saw earlier the clay and man had a close relationship they were very much associated here we see that man trees and the forest are very much associated closely associated with each other and initially wood was used for firewood you know that uh, when we did not have the gas and all stuff we used to use the firewood uh, this uh, we used, we had the, we used to do cooking with the firewood later on for making weapons construction of building and other construction work this wood was used gradually wood was used for different purposes like for making idols underline this for making idols and the lens students all these things toys for children wooden pillars windows and doors small huts on top of the terrace thrones chairs and grills and you will close the bracket students besides the firewood and construction of the building work where was the wood used it was used for different purposes like making idols toys for children wooden pillars windows doors small huts on the top of the terrace thrones chairs and grills okay in this way wood carving was developed wooden furniture like swings and toys of either and sang sankheda in gujarat are well known students either and sankheda you will have to underline either and sankheda you will have to underline they also developed later on okay now you know at home you will have most of the furniture made of wood so here we are going to stop students with this wooden art we are going to stop tomorrow we shall see about inlay work a cake work about the painting and all i'm going to send you some questions please complete the books some of you were asking me do we need to have the separate book do we need to write the homework separately of mine and kunal sir no students you can continue what you have been doing you have finished chapter 1 then you did the homework of chapter 8 after chapter 8 you can continue doing chapter 2 we know what we are teaching and we are also keeping the record of it i will show you now the board work have a good day study at home students these are the six questions some are in one sentence you have to write maybe the question number 6 you will have to write at least 2 to 3 lines 2 to 3 sentences other all the five questions are just one line question please do the homework see you tomorrow have a good day